And so, um, and they always come in back. The great thing about this book, now it's a story. And you tell us all kinds of stories going out there. Um, some of them were like trickster stories. Here we are. Who all knows about tricksters? Anybody here know about tricksters? All right. So there's different type of tricksters, and what's interesting is they have trickster stories all around the world. Um, I've heard cool trickster fan. stories, you know, from Hawaii with the owl. Some trickster stories that were actually in Africa with like the turtle. Um, we have uh, uh, our stories here in North America, and the trickster in different areas. There's the raven. There's Iktomi the spider, there's coyote, um, there is radish from the woodlands. And from our area, I'm Blackfeet from uh, Montana and Alberta. <clears throat> and our trickster was an old man. And uh, his name was Noppy. And Noppy was really crazy. Everybody knew about Noppy. They knew stay away from Noppy because if you hung around Noppy, crazy things would happen. And so, one of the, uh, the stories that I always like to start off with is the story about Noppy and the Rock. And I thought I brought the blanket with me, but it did. It's still in my bed. So you guys just have to imagine with me that Noppy's carrying a blanket. Oh, I read the book before. And so one day Noppy was walking through the forest. And a long time ago, the, the uh, um, people used to be able to talk to animals. And the birds and to, you know, all these different creatures. What, and what's kind of interesting, I was down in uh, the middle part of the country uh, about two weeks ago, and one of the people that I was talking to, he was a bird watcher. And he said, What's really kind of interesting is we as human beings, our ears are attuned to the frequency 